I pray God will give Ashua you the courage to do it. Because it will affect even himself. It will affect all the APC powers. It will affect all the MDs of banks. The MDs of banks are the destroyer of this system. The powerful, the high and the mighty. He, will, he is stepping on their toes. I pray God give him the grace to do it. The next thing he should do, tell him if you know him, is to restructure this country. Nigeria is a fraud. One particular tribe repressing the whole of us. Did you hear what Central Bank Governor wants to do? Just a department, the operation department of Central Bank, to be moved back to Lagos, where you have 99% of the headquarters of bank. The north is agitated. Don't take Abuja back to Lagos. They don't care. If you all become beggars, it's okay for their oligarchic mentality. I talk like no other pastor talk. I talk like no other pastor talk. Because I have seen into governance, I have seen into the church. And I know where the problem is in this country. Are you hearing me? They may not like what I'm saying, but they cannot dispute the truth. This country cannot go on like this. Okay, I was talking about those who migrated. I don't blame those that want to japa. You know, initially I was saying don't japa. Do you hear me say that again? Japa if you want to japa. Because you look at the country and say, what future? If it goes on like this, what future? If it goes on like this, civil war is imminent. If it goes on like this, military intervention is imminent. Do we want to go back to that? No. Something must happen. I have always believed that something must happen. Do you see the way we pray in this church? Make Nigeria one. We don't pray. Nigeria is not one and it can never be one. We are different nations tied together by force. We should still be one country, but let everyone govern itself the way he likes. Are you hearing me? Let the Niger Delta have their oil. Let the East have their resources. Let the Yoruba people have their resources. Let the North have their resources. Let them manage their security. Give them state police. Let everybody guard his borders. Let everybody generate his economy. Why must you generate oil in the Niger Delta and take it to the North? Why must we generate uh, uh, IGR here or the VATs and take it to the North that generate nothing? The 10 key Northern states have Sharia. Sharia says no to alcohol. Sharia say no to tobacco. But alcohol and tobacco is what gives us fat here. Yeah. And you take the money from there to spend. Where you say you don't want, but you like the money. Uh, fraud. 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 Unfairness. Injustice. Where did we sit down to make Nigeria 36 states? Where did we sit down? Nigeria was negotiated three regions. North, West, East, 1963, by plebiscite. Midwest came in. Where did we sit down and say we shall be 36 states for Abuja? And the biggest one taken to the North. More local governments. Then we came with federal character. You are qualified, but from the tribe you came from, you can't be qualified. Now, you can't pass any law in that National Assembly without Northern approval. They are in larger quantity. Deliberately made so. So how do we go from there? There is God. Oh. Change your prayer mode. If you are in our church, we don't pray God save Nigeria. We just pray one country. Nigeria is not one nation. That's the first law we told ourselves. One nation. This country is not one nation. This country is many nations tied together by force. We must, not, we must agree how to be one. We are not saying we are going to divide, but let everyone rule itself at his own pace and let's meet at the center. Let's be like the United States of America. New York and New Jersey, New Jersey they are side by side. They have different laws, different policemen, different constitution. That's what it should be. Not somebody with detention in Abuja, and that is all of us must do. Slow down our education, slow down our economy, slow down our military, make Nigeria unsafe. This evil system died today. Oh.